Today I'm gonna to show you guys an awesome way to create some light flares and little dust particles and really cool atmosphere in an image using a custom brush that we're gonna make right now in Photoshop. Hey guys and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on flurn.com where we make videos teaching Photoshop and photography and we make them really fun. Today we got a really cool episode. If you guys have ever taken an image and you've got like a really nice beam of like light coming through like a window or something like that and you're like man this would look killer with some like light rays in there maybe some like dust particles floating in the air so you could like really see that light in the air um, but it just didn't come out straight out of camera. I'm going to show you like this quick tip you can do in Photoshop actually creating a custom brush that's going to create all these little particles for you as well as you can just add this cool special blur to it to create the light beams as well. So we're going to do that right now in Photoshop. So here's the image we're working on today in Photoshop. This is a contest winner, Ice Cube Tomato from our last contest. Uh, I love this image. You can see I got my coffee right here so I can uh, totally sympathize with this image. And what we're, we're gonna do is add a lot of like little dust particles and then some light flares to this too. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna create a custom brush and I'm gonna kind of show you guys why we're gonna create a custom brush to do this. So let's just grab like our brush tool and like if I wanted to create a little dust particles, I could just grab like a brush and I could like just kind of paint them around like this, but this would kind of like take forever, especially if I wanted to really just vary all the brush sizes. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go to window and then down here to brush and then I'm gonna show you guys some of the cool menu options that are built into this brush tool. And if you guys haven't played around here in the brush tool, this is an amazing place to play around. So things like shape dynamics, you can turn size jitter up, which is gonna make some of these larger and some of these smaller. And you can even turn scattering up and you can see right down here what's gonna happen is basically these things are gonna scatter all over the place and you basically have a bunch of tiny little particles. Now, that's pretty good, That's but that takes care of like our scattering and the, the size and everything like that. Now I'm gonna bring the spacing up so these are not so close together. That's still pretty good, but you'll see as I'm painting around, they're, these little guys, like they're, they're still pretty close together, really. They don't scatter quite as much as I would like them to be. Like, you know, I want one to be here and then like one to be way down here, but they're not gonna do that. And the reason being is because it uses like the brush size. If your brush size is really small, that's all the scattering you're gonna get. You're gonna be, only be able to scatter in like a really small area. So if you guys have ever like tried to create something like this and you're like, they're not scattering. Like this would be good for like fairy dust or something like that, but for dust particles, they're too close together. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna make a custom brush really quick that we're gonna basically apply the same settings and it's, it's gonna solve the problem for us. And then I'm gonna include the custom brush on flurn.com so you don't have to do all this, you can just download it. But if you wanna learn how to do it, stay tuned for um, right now. Okay, so I'm gonna hit Command N, which is gonna create a new document and we're just gonna make this 500 pixels by 500 pixels. Hit okay there. And now what we're gonna do and remember, we said earlier, the scattering is based on the size of the brush that you actually wind up choosing, right? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna create a dot right here. Let's just choose a regular brush. All right, there we go. I'm gonna choose like a dot and I'm gonna paint black, like right here in the corner, just like that, okay? Now I'm gonna choose a much smaller brush and I'm gonna put a dot right there in this corner. Okay, now you might be asking yourself, why would you do that? Basically, the, but the dot in the bottom right corner, that's going to be the piece of dust that you're gonna see. The one in the top left corner, that's you're not gonna wind up seeing that because we're gonna make this super small. But what this does is it makes the brush size, instead of having the brush size be you know, like 10 pixels by 10 pixels or whatever, now it's 500 pixels. So when you scatter this brush around, it's basically, you're only gonna be able to see this one dot in the bottom right corner, but it's gonna scatter a whole lot better. You'll see in just a second, it's gonna be awesome. So we're gonna go to edit and then down to define brush preset. Okay, we'll just call this dust. Hit okay and then we'll go back to our other document. So here on our other document, let's just clear that. Now you can see if I just paint around with this layer normally, this is what it looks like. You can see there's on the bottom right, you can see the, you know, the dust particles and that little guy on the top left, right? But what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this brush quite a bit smaller. So you're basically not gonna be able to see the guy on the top left. Now we're gonna be, go back into our brush panel. I'm gonna load up the brush tip shape and we're gonna change our size jitter all the way up. Let's turn our min minimum diameter down. Our angle jitter up, so this is just kinda going crazy. This is what we want. We want a totally scattered brush, right? And then I'm gonna click on scattering 
and we're going to bring up the scattering. So now what we've got, instead of, remember before, it was just like a little fairy dust thing. Now when I paint around, look at how random and awesome that is. They're going everywhere and it doesn't look like a custom brush anymore because there's so much space in between these little particles, right? So basically by making that cool custom brush with all that spacing in between them, that is a really nice technique that allows us to have like this ultimate scattering. It just makes it look like it's not done in Photoshop anymore. So I'm painting here on a new layer and I'm just gonna paint like quite a bit of dust on here. Why not? Because I like it, it looks good. <laughs> but what we're gonna do, I'm gonna change the layer blend mode now from normal. We're gonna change this from normal to soft light. And this is just gonna help it like kind of blend in, into the image. Let's go ahead and lower that opacity a little bit as well. Okay, and I'm gonna do this over a few layers. So Basically, we're just gonna use our brush tool, B for the brush tool, hold Alt or Option, and I'm gonna grab like a nice light color here from, from my image itself. And now we're gonna make some larger dust particles right over here. And you can see they scatter so nicely now. We're gonna change that from normal to soft light as well. And we can kind of work with the opacity there. And we'll just do one more. You can even go really small, like super small if you want. There we go. And this is like the little, little baby tiny dust particles. Okay. Just go completely overboard with those apparently and take forever to load. <laughs> All right, when this is done loading, we're gonna change this back from normal to soft light. It made a lot of tiny little dust particles and it's still going. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna change this back to, from normal to soft light and then change the opacity to like 20 or 30%. So what we've got are, are all these like nice little dust particles that are gonna look really good like it actually makes it look like, you know, there's something It's like, oh, what's in the, what's in the air there? Like it looks like, you know, whatever this, like the beams of light are gonna be actually catching this. So now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna create a new brush or sorry, a new layer. We're gonna use the same brush, everything like that, same, same settings. But what we're gonna do, let's go over here. I'm gonna bring our scattering down just a little bit. We'll make our brush larger. There we go. All right. This is gonna be so cool. So we're using the same brush and now using slightly bigger particles and you can just adjust this, like right click and make your brush size larger or smaller. That's gonna adjust how large or small these little particles are. It's super, super easy to do. Okay, so I'm painting a bunch over right over here near the window and what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna to go to filter, I'm gonna to go to blur and I'm gonna to go to motion blur. Okay. Basically here I can choose my angle, like what's the angle that I want right here over here and I can choose my distance like so, you know, maybe I want a little bit of blur or a little bit more blur. That looks pretty good. So we're going to hit OK and I'm just going to keep making some more of these. The more that I make, it's going to kind of give me more and more of this effect. And if you want to just do the same blur over again, all you have to do is hit Command F. So Command F is just going to basically just apply the same thing over and over and over again. So paint a little bit and then hit Command F and it's gonna give it a little bit more of a blur. If you want, there we go. And you can see it's really nice because it gives us those like nice streaks of light that we like, kind of makes it look like, you know, looks actually looks like light flares. Okay, we can change that back from normal to soft light as well. And then you could do a couple different layers of this. All right. This is why it's so cool because the same brush you can use for your dust, but you can also use Hit Command F on there, and then we'll just lower that opacity. You can also use this for the actual light flares. Okay, now what we're gonna do, we have our light flares. I can group those together by shift click on the two layers. We're gonna go ahead and save this brush. So I'm gonna hit B for the brush tool, right click, and then here on our little, uh, eh, it looks like a gear. Yep, it's a gear. We're gonna click on there, and we're gonna go down to save brushes. All right. Oh, no we're not, we're gonna go to new brush preset. There we go, not save brushes. Save brushes would have saved this entire set. That's not what we wanted. New brush preset, and we're gonna call this um, scatter dust. All right, and hit okay. So when you guys go to flurn.com and download this brush, this is the exact brush that you did. Like, I just saved it now and you'll be able to download that one. Okay, but for our group, which has the little lens flare in there, we're gonna put a layer mask on that group and then I'm just gonna choose a totally regular brush now and then I can just paint this black here around the edges. 
where I don't want this lens flare to kind of come in. So I can have it like blend in the image a little bit better. There we go. So the like lights kind of just like directly hitting our subject kind of makes for the like really nice shot. All right, so let's go ahead and group all those and I'll show you the before and the after real quick here. So here's our, let's full screen that. There's our before without any of the little pieces of dust, anything like that. And there's the after. Really kind of like adds that nice bit of atmosphere and makes it look like just more like a painting and a little bit more surreal. And um, I think it's a really nice effect. So super simple, just download the brush on flurn.com and then you guys can do this with any one of your photos. All right, so that's it for today's episode, guys. You can use this brush on any one of your photos. If you have any ideas for us on Florin, like if you take some pictures and you're like, oh man, I need to fix this thing about it, or like, how can I, the shadows are too dark on this, I wanna fix that. Um, leave us a comment right down below this episode. We read all these comments, and that's how we base what we teach here on Florin.com. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive updates on our videos, as well as share it with anyone you know who likes photography, Photoshop, beards, <laughs> Thanks a lot guys, we'll flirt you later. Bye everyone. Dude, so we're gonna show you guys how to make a, a, these light ways, but light ways, <laughs> light ways. Hey guys and welcome to Flirn. My name, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, you got a like really nice light rays. No, nope, I'm gonna do that something different. Cool, let's go. All right, I think there were enough bloopers in that episode. I don't have to make any.